why are the police convinced that Brian Kohlberger is the Idaho 4 unaliver? Fuel me once here, driving instructor of the world. Remember, we're talking about him as a suspect. So police early on seem to have had DNA evidence that they were going off of. Uh, within three weeks, they released information about the white Hyundai Elantra they were looking for. That's pretty quick. They had a lot more information than they let out. They still do. And they were a lot more confident than they let on. As they're creating the psychological profile of the unaliver, they were also tracking up the DNA evidence, etc. They looked at Brian. He's got a criminal justice degree. He's pursuing a PhD in criminology and criminal justice. He's a detailed planner. He stalked. He studied victims. He took his time. He's a careful, um, methodical person. He always thinks he's smarter than everyone else in the room. That's reported from, from high school on up. He's a controlling kind of person. Uh, several uh, other of his students have reported that, especially a group of about 10 that worked with him on a group project. Remember, it's also likely that the unaliver had uh, defensive wounds since, since two of the uh, victims fought back. Brian has hard drug use in his past. All through high school, he used heroin and a little bit into college. He was bullied when he was younger for being heavy and then lost weight in the summer before his senior year. Then he became a bully. He loved mind games. In custody, he's been extremely silent. This is not typical. He hasn't protested his innocence. He's only on record said one thing. Was there anyone else arrested? He's also slept most of the time that he's been in custody. Also not typical. He's also studied unalivers and those who got away with crimes, uh, cases, criminal justice strategies, etc. He's been studying. It's been reported by at least two classmates on the news that he was more animated after the incidents, more chatty. Uh, also that he was more tired and had to consume a lot more coffee. He's been described as a loner, nerdy, awkward. I mean, that's half the people out there in the world right now. He was a very harsh TA, teaching assistant. He graded papers very tough, but after the incident, didn't even make comments on papers anymore. Just passed them through. And yes, there's a lot of rumors circulating. I'm trying to present those that have been at least confirmed by two people. Police knew it was a man. They eliminated women. Police have his computer. Did he keep notes? They watched him four days in Pennsylvania. The FBI did. Did they get more DNA then? Also, his cell phone pings match those of the victims. There's some technology in 